what's going on everybody i just want you to see my side of the nadine story and how she was actually treated this video might be a little bit long because it's a i'm going to show you all the text messages that we had so you could read them for yourselves and you tell me if i threatened her or if i was rude and the last person who i spoke to on the phone was her gentleman friend and then after that I made a couple attempts to bring her wheels to try and make her happy. We All we told her was, we, when we find a black wheel, we will bring you a black wheel. Or I will go to Walmart and buy you a new bed frame for $15. It was a $15 bed frame that she was all upset about. I didn't have a problem re, you know, replacing the frame, obviously, at that point. But at that time, before I could do anything further, she was all upset that she received these two wheels and didn't want to wait anymore for the black ones that she already went on google and made a review so, and i already spent lots and lots of time going to her house i gave her free man we went to the house to try and fix all the boxes that were screwed up we really did try our hardest so if anyone out there really thinks i'm a bad guy take a look at that all that's information and then uh let me know what you think in the comment section thank you messages that I received from Nadine and let's see if anything in here says that I'm rude right. I don't see anything I don't see anything So far, it looks pretty good. Your stuff pretty much is all together in one spot. Looks like I'm trying to explain to her. She's trying to show me what's missing. I'm doing everything I can. I sent the guys to go move boxes around for her for free. I sent her a free guy. We found her shelf. We delivered the shelf. That's the that's the wheel that she's missing from the bed frame, like one like that. I don't know what happened to the lamp. Um, not the shades, the entire lamp. Okay. showing me her stuff. Now I'm showing her. What the stuff looked like. And was that when I found it? Yep. I found it. Look. I packed up the box and my worker unpacked the box and repalletized it and put it underneath my office and I didn't even know it was there. I cleaned my whole warehouse, went crazy, and I looked at this pallet seven times. So... So this is me. I sent them back again another time to help her. 
So I sent these guys back a ton of times, these big messages. She hasn't said a word on social media, but she will definitely not recommend my company. So that was like the last text message I had. Hi, uh, is this Tommy? Uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, this is Tom. I'm partnered with Nate, and, uh, you know, I think I, I, I want to know what's going on with our stuff. Hey, Phil, how you doing? Uh, yeah, I told her I'm going to try and um, empty out one of my storage lockers. Today we had nothing going on, so today I have guys coming to empty the storage locker where the only last place I could imagine this stuff could be, because it, 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 it didn't leave, as far as I know, it never left the warehouse because nothing really left here. So it's got to be, it had to be put in the wrong spot somewhere. I, I did a lot of... Uh, investigating through my cameras, through photos. I spent a lot of hours trying to track this thing down. Um, you know, it, it's it's unfortunate because I know this, I know exactly what you're looking for it was here because I touched it when it was here. And I don't think, I don't believe it could have actually left. No one's gonna, no one's gonna want it. And wherever it shows up, it would be found because of how it was packed. So the only- what, my, I mean, what I don't understand how do you how do you lose legs? I mean, seriously. Sorry. How do you lose legs to a table? I mean, it, we have the, Thanksgiving the, coming up. The, the table. We don't have a table. The tables were placed in a large box. Okay, if you read our paperwork, we we, we kind of don't. We try not to take responsibility for loose and unpacked items. I packed the box. I packed the legs up in a box. The legs are in a box. I don't know where the box went. I'm looking for this box. I've been spending a week. Spending thousands, of, I'm spending money every day looking for this box, dude. I haven't slept. Uh, this box is killing me, dude. I'm looking for your box. I've been trying. I, mean, I have, I have three, I have, I have three. I have three. Listen, I have three guys coming today, and their only objective is to find your box, okay? And I'm only gonna be. I have. You have. Like I told Nadine, we have two ways we can go. I, I'm personally taking a, a, a attention to this and trying to find the box. Legally, I could throw my paperwork at you and give you a dollar a pound and walk away from it And you just could give me all the bad reviews you want. I'm not trying to go that route Okay, I want to find you your stuff, but if you're gonna get crazy nasty screaming argumentative I'm, I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go right to my contracts and put you through insurance So I'm trying to be as nice as I can about it so I don't want to be bullied, pushed. I don't want no one to give me any am ultimatums. I, like I'm gonna give you a bad review. I'm I'm starting. Am I am I bullying no, you? but I'm I'm trying to. I'm, I've explained to Nadine. I'm trying to explain to you, and then you're like, well, how does it how does it happen? And you're getting upset. I understand you're upset. I'm just as upset as you are, sir. I'm just as upset as you are. But, you, but you're also missing the wardrobe. That the the wardrobe. I'm trying to find the stuff. I understand that. And that's what I'm saying. I, I know what I'm missing. You don't got to reinstate what I'm missing. I already okay. know what I'm missing. I'm going, I have guys here today specifically, okay. specifically to spend the whole day to find your stuff. If I can't find it today, then I have to find another route or another avenue to fix your problem, which I spoke to Nadine about again. And if you're nice with me, I'm going to be nice with you. And if you Okay. Get nasty with me. I'm gonna send you right to my insurance. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna I'm block your calls. I'm so just, just, that's it's it's, you know, it's I get it. it, it it's un it's time. unfortunate for you. It's unfortunate for me. And look, I understand you guys are upset. I'm really fucking annoyed, man. I packed that box myself. Excuse my language. I packed your box myself, and I put your box in storage myself. And that box I packed is not here. And that is twice a problem so i don't right. so you could be as mad as you want i'm twice as pissed off as you are because my guys f did something that i don't know what the hell they did and it's costing me and i'm aggravated like to no end so please i really don't i don't need the stress coming from your side i really want to help you guys i really i'm trying really really hard right now You're all right I'm, I'm going, listen, I have, I have my guys here for the whole day. I'm going to empty what, what, what we did, what happened in my warehouse is we had the town kind of screwed me up. They made me move some stuff from outside to inside and your stuff was all nicely wrapped, sealed and, and, and containerized. But I think during the shuffle, it's possible that this one last customer's stuff could have got intertwined with a box or two. Anything is anything's possible, you know what I'm saying? So my only, 
like I said, the stuff, everything you had, had in that box, the one that I personally packed, I put a sticker with your name, your phone number, and your address on it, okay? So every piece in there, your table legs have a sticker on it, your, your, your black folding chair has a sticker on it, um, whatever else is in those in that box I packed has a sticker on it. So we're and no one's gonna want your table legs when it shows up. Someone's gonna be like, "What the hell are these freaking table legs?" And I'm gonna get a phone call that, "Hey, I have Nadine's table legs here." So you're, if they got delivered, someone's gonna tell me that they were delivered. No, only well, what do you call? Only one person has left since you've been in my warehouse, and I was at their house twice, and they don't have your stuff. So it means it has to be in this warehouse. If it's not in this warehouse, I, I have a mystery ghost in here that took you table legs and for no, I don't even, I can't even imagine. You know what I'm saying? So just bear with me today. I'm really trying. I'm gonna, I have this, I have a 24, I have a 24 foot, I have a 24 foot storage locker. I have to empty out the whole thing. It's like a three bedroom house. I gotta go through a whole three bedrooms house versus worth the boxes and stuff to find your stuff. So I'll call you by the end of the day. Six, six, four. I hope you can see that there's more than one side to every story that actually goes on. And I do handle each case individually. Had the last customer that everyone is talking about on the Marlboro page called me herself instead of had two family members reach out to me, which technically as a business owner, you know you should only speak to the client none of this would have ever happened. I don't have a problem correcting any issues that go wrong here. So let's not mistake that. Anything that happens, I will try and do what I can to help you. As long as you're cooperative with me. I do try, things do take some time, but there will be some kind of resolution. I don't believe weaponizing social media is the answer to anybody's problem. If you don't believe me, or if you're against me, or however you feel about me, that's totally fine. But everybody has a right to their opinion, and I have a right to mine. Comment below and let me know what you think. I'm going to end this video by simply saying that if the woman in question from the Marlboro Residence page would like to still resolve her issues, please check your email and forward us over the claim form ASAP. I sent you two claim forms, or two times I emailed you the claim form, along with the follow-up email advising you that you should still file a claim form because you never know the carriers still may give you something. As a business owner, I don't feel that we should have to buy anybody furniture or refund all our money for services performed when we have insurance to cover these issues. If you did sign away the insurance, again, it's not always about the paperwork, it's about how people handle themselves. I'm always willing to work with any customer, no matter what level of insurance they chose. However, everything needs to be done properly and accordingly. We are state regulated, therefore, our paperwork and our contracts come right from the state. I don't make up the dollar a pound stuff. I don't make up how much you can get. If a customer doesn't want to have all their furniture wrapped on a move, as a business owner, I don't feel I should have to protect that furniture with in insurance. So even during a chucking in the truck, we still drape your furniture in the truck with moving blankets. We just don't wrap everything in the house. However, a few things that were left out from the current or past situation story that I have have some updates on is that when I spoke to my worker after all of this happened, they informed me that they had padded up the dresser and they had to shrink wrap it because the doors were sliding doors and if they didn't perform that service on the dresser anyway, it wouldn't have worked, so they had to do it. It was, no matter what, they had to perform the service, so they didn't charge her because it was a must-do service. And we weren't trying to give her any extra charges. Prior to the move, we booked her with three men for four hours. Day of the move, I sent two guys. I reduced her package rate down to accommodate the two men. And at the end of the move, we've sent 
two extra guys to help speed up the process so she did not spend any extra charges on her move. This isn't the first time that we sent more than one uh, team to finish a move. On many occasions, we send six guys on a four-man job, sometimes because there's not enough work for all six guys, and I don't really want to leave two guys home not working, so I send six guys on a four-man job. I don't charge customers extra for it. They get guaranteed having their moving time done when it's supposed to be finished with the extra men, no extra charge. I eat the cost on all of that stuff. Also, we do have a glass and press board waiver. However, I've purchased many glass pieces for customers. You can go and ask the shower man right on Route 9, go speak to Mark, talk to him about me and how we treat our customers when stuff happens. Even with the glass waiver, we still have bought plenty of glass. I've actually paid more for glass on a move, replacing a one single piece of glass that was tempered that cost me more than I made on the whole entire job. So you really don't know what we do in the background to service our clients. One client shouldn't deter or make or break anyone's decision on how a company operates. Even with several other people who have their stories, we have answers for almost every single one of them. If you have questions about them, you are more than welcome to question me direct.